I've been talking about today's Black Friday haul episode forever and I hope I don't disappoint. Now you might be wondering, why would you have posted your Christmas wishlist episode before your Black Friday haul episode? Great question. And the answer is because my brain. Welcome to NYC Vlogmas episode eight. As I mentioned in episode six, I am impatient day up and I rarely wait until Christmas for people to actually buy me the things that I want. I either buy it for myself or I wait for the items to go on sale. This year for Black Friday because I'm trying to put myself on a budget because we recently moved to our new apartment and we are still paying rent at our old apartment. I finally exercised some discipline when it comes to spending and the majority of my purchases were related to self-care and wellness or home decor and furniture. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing some of the best purchases that I made for Black Friday this year. And I'm also gonna be sharing my shopping guide for FSA eligible products so that you can use all of your FSA dollars before they expire at the end of this year. One of the best purchases I made this year when it comes to furniture was getting these bar stools from Crate and Barrel. I love the gold accents with the clear seat. They're just really perfect and they complement our kitchen island. And we got this set of two. It was, I believe, under $500. I will link it in the description for this video. We have this gorgeous glass top dining table that we got from Wayfair. Fast delivery time. And this dining table definitely looks a lot more expensive than what we actually paid for it. It was very important for me to get a glass top dining table because I wanted it to reflect the New York skyline, so mission accomplished. It just really accents our modern decor in our apartment really well. Love the gold table legs. And until West Elm decides to send us any type of tracking information for the dining chairs that we ordered, right now it's saying that no delivery estimate can be provided. Really comforting. Dining chairs are probably where our couch is, you know, nowhere to be found. But the dining chairs, if you can use your imagination, will be very similar to the ones that we currently have. I think the ones that we ordered are going to be either slightly darker gray or lighter gray, I can't remember. Yeah. Until then, what we've been doing is we are using a bench from Ikea and we've draped a West Elm blanket over it. And I think it actually looks pretty awesome. So it's a great solution until we get these chairs when or if we got these chairs. Another Black Friday deal from Wes Um was this dinnerware set. No complaints so far, high quality. I haven't actually used them yet because I needed to film this. I will report back once we finally use them. My comes to self-care, I love diffusers and this is a the Truvy diffuser that I've had for a few years. Love it. I wanted to buy another one, but these are on the pricier side. These are about 120 bucks. Didn't really feel like spending that for three more. I found this really cute white dupe for Vitruvi on Amazon, $19 for Black Friday. And I had three of them in my cart and I was so close to buying it, but I got distracted and didn't pull the trigger. Add it to my Christmas wish list. So I did get this three pack of lavender essential oil from Amazon. These can really start to add up because they're not cheap. This three pack that I got on Amazon was inexpensive. So I will definitely be using this going forward. Forward. and this is pretty strong. A few drops of this goes a long way. I fully took advantage of the Saqqara Black Friday sales because everything was 25% off and that is their only sale of the year. However, if you did not get a chance to shop Saqqara Black Friday, you're not totally out of luck. You can still use my ambassador code XOTNYC to receive 20% off Saqqara if you are a new customer. I've mentioned before that I don't even really consider Saqqara a splurge just because I usually neglect and overlook self-care and wellness for myself, which is really terrible. Saqqara makes it really easy for me not to overlook very important things. For Black Friday, one of the first things that was an immediate add to cart was this manifestation candle. If you've watched any of my prior vlogs, I am really big on manifestation and intention setting, and it's really helped me get focused when it comes to setting the goals and being clear on the steps that I need to take to achieve those goals. In terms of what it smells like, it says it has 13 botanicals in it. A great way to describe this scent is just floral heaven. It wasn't cheap. 
but when I do use it, I am very intentional. I sit down and I'm quiet with myself and I get grounded and I'm very intentional with setting out the things that I am manifesting. Last night was a full moon and I kind of missed that because I was editing yesterday's vlog, so hopefully I can make up for it tonight because I am manifesting a lot of important things this month and for the next year. I'm gonna make sure to use this candle tonight to do some manifesting. Something else that was an immediate add to cart for me, the Saqqara Holiday Trio Popcorn. As you can see, I completely hated it. To be honest, I'm really proud of myself that it lasted this long. I got just normal salty popcorn, which is kind of just like regular butter. I also got sweet popcorn, which was comparable to kettle corn. And then my favorite was the cheesy popcorn. I do not know how Saqqara gets their dairy substitutes to taste so much like the real thing. Now, I am not one of those vegans who thinks that every single dairy substitute is the best thing in the world. My favorite food to this day is still cheese. So I'm very particular when it comes to any type of dairy substitute. And when I say the cheese that they put on this popcorn and the cheese that they put into their meal, I do not understand how it tastes that good. I cannot tell that this is not cheese. And this is coming from a cheese lover. So it was that good. They have to make another order of it because it is just that freaking good. Something else I got for Black Friday was their morning ritual kit which comes with this metabolism super powder, this electrical mixer thingy. Okay. <laughs> the Saqqara mug, which keeps your tea, coffee, or hot beverages hot for hours. I can definitely attest to this. I've used this mug multiple times. And as a person who is super forgetful, I often make tea or coffee and forget about it for hours. Every single time that I've made coffee and tea and put it in here, and come back five hours later, it's still warm. So this is definitely worth the money. And to be honest, I bought this set just to get this mug and it does not disappoint. As you can see, I have not opened the Metabolism Super Powder yet. So I'm not talk about that. Tomorrow's vlog, we're gonna be doing a morning routine. So it's a great time to test this out. So stay tuned. Another cool thing about Saqqara Black Friday, they allowed us to use that 25% off discount for our meal subscriptions for the rest of 2022. I've said this multiple times, I absolutely love Saqqara's signature meal delivery plan. Their meals are delicious and super filling. And I love the fact that they are vegan, so I don't have to worry about what's going into it how the food is being prepared, cannot recommend them enough. Having Saqqara during the week when I'm super busy with work or just life, it really removes the friction from me having to decide what I'm gonna be making for dinner or lunch or even breakfast. Honestly, the biggest dilemma I face when trying to decide what to eat during the week with Saqqara is which of the meals I wanna eat because it's so aesthetic that I eat them in the order of least aesthetic to the most aesthetic. Today, beautiful this is. Purple rice? I mean, come on. I really sometimes don't even want to eat the meals, but of course I always end up eating them. Their presentation elevates your experience of eating really healthy food. And now the most highly anticipated portion of this episode, my FSA spending guide. Now, what is an FSA? FSA stands for flexible spending account. And it's essentially an account that is related to a health plan that is provided by your employer. And it allows you to add pre-tax dollars to this account that you can then use to pay for various medical and healthcare expenses. For example, I put in $1,000 of cash into my FSA account each year, and this is money that I do not need to pay taxes on, which is amazing. Sounds great, right? However, there are a few catches, of course. One of the major catches is that there is a deadline by which you do need to use all of your FSA funds. You typically have one year for your plan, but your employer may extend that by giving you a few months of a grace period to use any unused funds past the deadline, or you may be allowed to carry over a certain amount to the subsequent FSA plan year. Another major caveat with FSA accounts is that you aren't able to spend them on any and every single related health expense. You are limited to a certain approved list of FSA eligible items. However, I've had no issue using all of my $1,000 that I put into my account because I use it on prescriptions, I use it on co-payments, and I use it on a lot of surprising 
health expenses and healthcare products that you probably would not have thought would be FSA eligible. So I'll walk you through a few of these and offer some tips for some things that you can use your FSA funds on. My plan year ends on 1231 and most plans I think are similar to that. If you are in a situation where you have unused funds in your FSA account, you definitely want to pay attention to my shopping guide. If you're wondering how I know so much information about FSA related stuff, it's because I did three sponsored campaigns on TikTok last year for FSA store, so I've learned a thing or two. If you're still not sure about which items will qualify as FSA eligible or not, I'm going to include a link to a helpful resource by the FSA store in this video's description. It outlines a very comprehensive list of various items that would or would not qualify FSA eligible. One way to make sure that you are purchasing FSA eligible items is to make your purchases online through the FSA store. I actually discovered a hack on Amazon this year where you can literally just type in the words FSA eligible. It will pull up a list of items that are FSA eligible and you'll see an entirely new section of Amazon. Go here, click on this, shop now, and it takes you to an FSA, HSA eligible section on Amazon. I wish they would put it somewhere else that was a little bit more accessible. Now you can see that the items that they will show you for the most part should be FSA or HSA eligible. Roll down and you can see the different categories. There are a lot of things in here are surprisingly FSA eligible. If an item is FSA or HSA eligible, it should actually say that on Amazon. Now, as you saw, we have filtered out results that are FSA eligible, but every now and again, you'll still see one rogue item that shows up that does not actually qualify. Always make sure to triple check to make sure that the items that you are adding are in fact FSA or HSA eligible. Hold on. I came across this little diffuser. It's not as aesthetic as the first one that I showed you guys, but this might be another add to cart situation. Another way that you can triple check to see that your items are FSA eligible or HSA eligible, you would add your card to Amazon and then you have this option in the checkout screen to click on FSA or HSA card and Amazon will tell you the portion of your total order that qualifies for FSA. I've only used my FSA card, so I've never had to actually submit any reimbursements. And I think that's where people tend to run into issues when using their FSA account because they think that a particular item would actually be eligible. Turns out it's not and they've already spent the money. So this is a really great way if you do have an FSA card provided to you. The moon looks so freaky right now. This is definitely the time for me to manifest something. You cannot stress how great this weighted eye mask is. This is one of my first purchases from FSA store last year and it has not disappointed me. I'm the type of person who tends to get a burst of energy at the absolute worst time when I should be winding down and this eye mask definitely helps calm me down and it keeps out light so that I'm able to actually try to get sleep a lot sooner. Something I showed you guys in an earlier vlog was this heating pad slash massager. The jury's still out on whether or not I actually really like it. It's not terrible. It's just not as intense as I would like it to be. But you know, it's a convenient heating pad. I already have another one that's really awkward and also blue and ugly. And it's just really hard to use that heating pad because it's just like a small blanket. This one I can at least wrap around my waist. So in that way, I do prefer it. the fun stuff. My medicine cabinet is not one of those aesthetic. Look how gorgeous my stuff is. We're just not doing that here. I am still very much a grown child and only in recent years did I actually start even thinking about skincare whatsoever. I think I've just been really blessed with really great genes and it's allowed me to be super complacent and lazy when it comes to skincare. The majority of the items that you're seeing on this shelf all came from FSA store. So my facial cleanser is from FSA store, my Aveeno cream cleanser and this daily moisturizer also from FSA store, this Epiclair Duo clarifying solution and acne treatment. I will say though that the skincare products that are FSA eligible tend to be ones that are related to fixing some form of a health issue and acne qualifies as one of those issues. So I've got like these treatment pads from Neutrogena, some vitamin C serum. I've also purchased the Mighty Patch Acne Spot Treatment. On to more stuff, because yes, I have two cabinets worth of stuff. Feminine hygiene products are also 
FSA eligible. This has been the absolute game changer. Makeup remover wipes are FSA eligible and I got these on Amazon. These were not available on FSA stores. Something else I'm surprising that I used my FSA dollars on was this light therapy whitening kit that I obviously have not actually opened yet. Something else that is FSA eligible is this scale. It's like a really fancy scale. I got this this year through Amazon again. Nothing against FSA store. I think FSA store is really great if you want to make sure that your items are actually FSA or HSA eligible. There's also an HSA store as well. However, I definitely just think that Amazon has a wider selection of products overall. And I just like that I can use Prime for a lot of it and get things in two days. Well, Prime as of recently has not been great. So it's been longer than that. But for the most part, I already have all my information linked through Amazon. And I do have my FSA card as I showed you guys earlier. So that's another way to make sure I'm purchasing items that are are in fact FSA eligible. So I prefer to use Amazon. Like I said, I didn't see any of those diffusers or FSA stores. So it's really up to you, but there is no excuse for letting your FSA funds go unused. So make sure to go spend all of that money. You know, I'm all about spending money. This is the time when you actually have the green light to spend all of this money. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed my Black Friday haul and my FSA shopping guide. Tomorrow's episode will be me actually testing all of this stuff out because it's gonna be a morning routine vlog and it's gonna be a silent vlog. So it should be interesting. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up with me and my shenanigans for Vlogmas. What a weekend. Can you believe it? An entire week. Really appreciate the feedback and the comments. You guys are amazing. I'm loving my growing audience on YouTube and I really enjoy making these videos. So until tomorrow, go binge all of my shorts and all of the earlier episodes of Vlogmas. And take care. I'll see you tomorrow.